Okay, here at NBC, David Letterman's show has just wrapped up. You know how tough it is to get him. You know what a recluse he is. He should be walking out any minute. No, no. Yes! No. Yes! I didn't have to talk to him. It's an man. NBC reunion! No, no. no you must talk to me! Marty! No, no. <laughs> no, Take no, wait a minute. With the network. Get this no, out of here. please! No, no, you're done. Please, I no, wanna. I wanna. Please, Mr. Letterman. <laughs> there he is. Nice to see you, nice David. To see you. Now I'm upstairs attending well, the, way, the NBC. Come on in. Yes. <laughs> Come on, close the door Please. and let's have a heart to heart. All now right. let's talk it out. Sit right down and talk to me. Come on, be nice. This is going to be fun. This is my staff, my crew. This is an American crew? <laughs> yes. Well, some people think so. How'd the show go tonight? Uh, just great. Was it a biggie? Yeah. Yeah, this was, you know, as soon as the tape stopped rolling, we got a phone call from the Broadcasting Museum, and they said, we're coming over to pick up the master. <laughs> so it was that kind of show. That good, huh? Yeah. Who'd you have on? Uh, we had, uh, wait a minute, look at these. Look at <laughs> These this. are my totes. <laughs> these are my totes. You know, it's raining like heck out. Wait a minute, if you want to laugh, these are what he's going to wear home tonight. Yeah, right? but these, no, these are souvenirs. We give these to the audience members. But look at this. You're actually wearing rubber I am shoes. wearing rubber Here, totes. Here's a man, an adult, got a family, responsibilities, and he's wearing rubber shoes. To preserve my health. Don't you understand? <laughs> Now, let's talk about your guests. Just because you can't think of them, don't push it off on me. No, we Who had, was uh, on your show tonight? We had uh, on the show tonight, the first uh, guest out was uh, Bob Arno. Bob Arno? Bob Arno. And, uh, Who is Bob? Bob Arno is a, uh, he's a pickpocket expert. Oh, I've heard of him, yes. Okay, and then? He came out and he did that hilarious thing where he took my tie off oh, and grabbed my wallet. Yeah, and, it's yeah. always good. And, and how uh, many times is Bob going to do that on television? Oh, you but know you know, it was great. We had to actually had to stop taping while uh, the audience, they said their sides were aching. They had never laughed <laughs> quite as hard as they did when, we'll when be Bob the judge and of that. I got into it. <laughs> and let's see, then after that, we had some, some of our pages. Oh, really? And handsome, lovely, talented uh, young men and women here. Doing what? Uh, uh, well, they're trying to eke out a living on the subsistence wage that NBC <laughs> pays them as, as pages. So, uh, they, you know, they had uh, interesting stories about living in boxes and, <laughs> and uh, under cars and so forth. So we, we talked to them for a few minutes. Good for you. That's and, nice. And then we sent uh, Nancy McKenzie up to uh, the eighth floor where the big party is. Yeah. And uh, she brought back a, a picture of you, among oh, others. that's you, right. Gene Rayburn and... Uh, All the biggies you know, are up there tonight. And uh, after that, Janie Fricky. No kidding. Yeah, very, very big, uh, uh, hot. They still say hot? Yeah, sure, sure. She's hot. A hot uh, country western singer. Well, you had a good show. Now listen. You, so you finished. You walk off. You change into your Levi's. And what happens to you then? Oop, the wallet. Uh, yeah, I read you. I didn't mean. We're going to be in here dusting for prints when you're done. <laughs> Let me ask uh, you something. Yeah. What happens to you now? Uh, I'll go upstairs, there'll be a brief uh, fist fight, and then uh, I'll go home. Usually, do you have dinner in New York and then no, get on no. that train? Last night, Paul Schaefer and I uh, uh, and his uh, lovely uh, girlfriend, Kathy Vassapoli, say that, it's fun. Kathy, Cassie? Kath, Kathy Vassapoli. Vassapoli, and the news. <laughs> and, and we all went out to dinner. Uh, uh, Meryl Marco, myself, mm -hmm. and Paul and Kathy. Uh, Paul bought dinner for us. No right kidding, enough. Paul popped, huh? Yeah, and, uh, and then, but tonight we'll go straight home. On the train for about an hour and 15 minutes. No, now, I, I drove today. I drove today. Oh, no kidding, yeah. see? Drove today. Got a little roughy out there with the weather. Well, uh, the, the train ride after a while, it's... Uh... Hey, a big major star like you on the train, it just isn't right. Snyder never, <laughs> Tom Snyder never took the train. Yeah, but, you know, Snyder lives... I'm living in Michigan, so it's, uh, <laughs> it's just difficult uh, to get in, you know. I have to call AAA in the morning, yeah. get a triptych, and uh, stuff. Oh, yeah. How's Cindy, by the way? Cindy's terrific. How, by the way, how's Claudia Cohen? Claudia Cohen's your favorite, isn't she? I like Claudia Cohen. I think she does a wonderful job. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, I'm going to go now. Regis! It's Regis! <laughs> I'm coming on your show, they tell me, soon. Yeah, you haven't heard yet, huh? No, that'll be great. We'll, we'll think of something for you to do, Regis. Seriously, that'll be, it'll be just great. Okay, let's go. I know when we're not wanted. Okay, bye-bye. Good night, David.